It takes many years to achieve something that looks so simple. You need a lot of patience, physical aptitude and fitness to develop a seat that not only absorbs the horse's movement but also improves it. Riding is a very physically demanding sport. A physiotherapist and a riding instructor, an unusual combination at first glance. Marlies Fischer Zillinger and Claudia Weissauer share a passion for horses and an interest in rider kinesthesia. The right stirrup length is a basic requirement for a seat that moves with the horse. When she brings her leg forward, I can try to see how much movement the rider has in her hips. You need tension here. When riding turns, the cushion lets the rider clearly feel whether they stay with the movement, vertically over the horse, or whether they sit to the outside, as we can see very well here. Raising an arm helps the rider to find the right physical tension in the vertical. The upper body must carry itself so that the pelvis can move freely and independently. It's much better for the horse if you remain flexible from the shoulder and elbow. We can see how our rider moves flowingly in rising trot. In rising trot, we often see inaccuracies in rhythm, excessive effort, rising too high, unsteady lower legs and unsteady hands. Riders try to compensate for balance problems by gripping with the knees. Exercises on hemispheres can help improve balance. Balance isn't something you can hold on to, you have to constantly fight for it. In sitting trot, we can see that the left hip comes further forward, while the right hip does not come forward at all. The left hip moves with the horse. The right is stuck. This causes the right leg to be less still than the left. I have to align myself like a train that stays on both rails during the turn and does not derail from one track or the other. So the rider has to keep their seat bones anchored into the inner and outer track. Can you feel how you end up sitting on one side? Now stay sitting equally on both sides, turn and keep the left and right sides of your waist the same length. That's what we need for turns. The rider can feel the lateral weight aids very clearly with the rubber balls under the seat bones. Horse and rider are in perfect harmony here. Movement becomes visibly playful and light when horse and rider work together with lots of patience and sensitivity which is required throughout a rider's life. <laughs>